Hello, this is Alarino, and we're here to talk about why my eyes, my eyes deceive, MED, which I'll be referring to, is a lazy part that doesn't have balls is by trying so hard to still wear the skin of the original itch.io port. Now I know what people coming here might be saying, no, the game is a masterpiece and is the scariest and deepest horror media ever. <laughs> the exclamation. Uh, and I'm sure it is for you, uh, for now. You can have the deepest analysis of the game, but for any other purposes, it is shallow, much like other psychological horror games and a lackluster ending that is better than the original. If no one is aware or can understand, in one of the endings, you can pick between trusting the character Papa in taking your pills or not. If you trust Papa, you'll be fast forwarded a long stretch of time, and when you go to talk to Papa, the unnamed protagonist, which you play as, asks why she is nauseous. Now, this could have been fun and dandy if the game was actually original, much like uh, other games, but but here we are. In the original game, the Trust Papa ending was better because it actually told you what he did to the protagonist presumably every time she went to sleep, aka rape. Weirdly, the game creators felt it necessary to leave the entire Don't Trust Papa ending segment unchanged, which, which as you learned that the pills are sedatives and that the Papa got investigated for being suspicious, which, which explains his absence in the middle of the playthrough which is usually day four to day five, day, day three, I don't know. For context on why the copy ending sucked, in the first in the first days of the game, you're explicitly told that the outside world is dangerous and that there's an infection, which explains the pills. This theory is supported by Papa's two-day absence in the mid-game, where he says he got chased by a monster, but managed to, to bring an apple and uh, survive. Under normal assumptions, the player would logically think that the world world outside is in a sort of apocalypse state by li by dialogue and the monster in the dream sequence. You, the original both endings are supposed to pull the rug from under you and complement each other because you're you, because you only learn specific detail from each ending. If you escape, you find out Papa locked you in a basement, not because the world went to crap, but because for some evil plot which you can only learn in the trust Papa ending. If you trust Papa, the pregnancy reveal presents during the Papa conversation. You can easily piece two and two together if you're eagle-eyed, and or get the second and then to learn its details and vice versa. And then the trust pop ending. And ruins everything by making the reveal so subtle that it's barely a reveal that you're being assaulted. And more that you somehow got infected. If you don't believe me, let me put this into perspective. You have no knowledge of the game prior, and all you have to go off is the world is monster infested and that your papa almost got killed by one and that you need to take pills to safe, stay safe from an infection outside. But the ending, instead of suddenly t saying you're pregnant, aka pulling the rug from under you, says you're nauseous, which by the given context means you either got infected or something closely related to that. There's not, no logical sense a person could logically piece together to the desired conclusion by the creator, by the creator, from the original game, and in turn making the reveal actually work with the ending you're given. Now yes, being nauseous is at least a thing that happens during pregnancy, to what I'm aware. But with the context you're given, you're just misled instead of the intended conclusion, which is the infection one. Okay, so, so while making the voiceover, I checked and the game got taken down by request of the original creator. Because the copy overshadowed the one on itch.io because YouTube content farms didn't credit the original game. By the time this video is released, I'll go make a video on the nearest copy, start on blocks, and trash on it if it's garbage. Okay, bye.